Come on, you ready? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Talk Force TV. We are, about, we are talking about the Johnny Transfer in the round. Obviously, we want to, to get a review on it. We have got um, Jack doing one as well. Um, obviously, uh, we are, we have had a really good month in terms of transfers. Didn't I show you that about that? Because I felt like that info, we're going to get in the uh, window. It's still been, for me, it's still been a really, really good month for Forest 2, for the signings we made. Um, we made five signings, a couple of dead wood has got left the club as well, so it's been a really good one. I mean, the signings that came in, I feel like that, they have improved the squad, um, and that they have offered that bit, that bit more that different dimension from what we have wanting at the club um, to be fair because I just feel like that if I was, I had one way of playing and that we needed that bit more of a um, different way of playing I mean bringing in Keenan Davis um, offers that bit more of a different threat up from, from what uh, we did have because not just like grabbing old Taylor but we needed someone that to be that bit more of a um, one man up front you can actually hold the ball up and actually um do things that they can't do no disrespect to them but obviously um it just just needed that someone up front who could do that um steve cook came in he he's a leader obviously he's that um he does give us that bit more of a uh, leadership and experience and that he's got the t-shirt been there done that and um, it does offer that um, sort of like um, experience that we probably do need up front because there's no disrespect to the players that um, McKenna Wall and that. But yeah, fair enough, they are great defenders. But for me, this just didn't have that sort of like um, leadership and know how to get out the room. Um, Get out of the championship, so I do feel like that they do um, offer that um, experience, and that you know, um, and that it does give us that bit more of a um, thing. We've talked that it does give us that bit more experience, that um, which could work, so um, and that. It's, he came and settled in and actually looked like he'd been here for 10 years, so, which is quite nice to see that he can do that. Um, we, we did sign Laurie, yeah, fair enough, he's not featured, he is with the Canada squad, but he will offer us that bit more of a versatility, he can play on win, can play either side of fullback, so he will offer that sort of flexibility where we do need at the battle on the win because um, some players that can play in different areas but Lardy can offer that sort of like flexibility then obviously the two last night that was handling um Sam Sewage he will offer that bit more of different dynamic dynamic up front um which we liked I mean yeah fair enough grabbing goal scorer gave us more of a um always a ball up on that and obviously Sam Sewage will offer offer that um sort of um different way of playing and Panzo he can play centre off, can play full back, obviously left side of centre off it yeah we got Scott McKenna as well but Panzo will offer that bit more versatility as well so we are starting to get that bit more uh, quality depth that we do like. Um uh, Dark Goings seeing that Dark Goings going obviously Carfalo gone, Genko gone, uh Wadri gone I mean, it has been a very, very good month in turn of getting them players gone. Uh, Wolfie out the uh, race ball quite a bit. Um, obviously, Harry Hart is still here, but I mean, it's soon been a really, really good month in terms of uh, getting rid of a couple of players that you needed to do, but it's a start. And that, yeah, fair enough, a couple of players' contract are all right, all right in the summer, but they're here for a couple of months now. And I just feel like that, the job that the club are doing. It's working now and we are starting to see some sort of a vision. So tell us what you think as per usual, guys. I actually say.